chants of jubilation, expectations of electoral victory amongst the All Progressives Congress Party faithful at the party's first official flag of, of its campaign in Lagos ahead of the 2019 general elections. Party faithful are quick to speak about their loyalty to the party and express confidence in the party's chances of winning the opposition at the state and national levels. Look, this is the force you are seeing in Lagos and all over the country. That shows we are on ground. And the way to show that we are on ground is to come out and bring our supporters. This is just a fashion of people you are seeing here. So you can be rest assured we are, we are on ground in Lagos and every part of the country, the Grand Anooks of Nigeria. And we are going to show that all our party, from the national, from, from, from the presidency down to the House of Assembly, we are going to deliver them. Look out for APC, we are going to win all the elections. Candidates from over 40 political parties, especially the ADC, announced their defection into the party. The big one is the cross captain of the former deputy chairman of the People's Democratic Party in Lagos to the APC. Soon, the special moment comes. The incumbent governor, Akinwumi Ambadi, hands over the party's flag to the party's gubernatorial candidate, Babajide Songolu. We will all join together to make him the next governor of Lagos State. The governor goes a little further to address rumors of conflict within the party. This is the official flag of of our campaign in Lagos State and we are happy that we are doing this successfully. You've seen the endorsements from all the other parties. Just then, pandemonium hits the rally as hoodlums launch an attack, shooting sporadically and injuring at least three casualties, including a journalist, as at the time of filing this report. The venue of the APC rally here in Lagos has become a shadow of itself as party members had to run away for their, their lives as hoodlums attacks. While the governor was still delivering his speech, well, this leaves a lot of political analysts worried as the country is set to go to the polls in less than six weeks to choose a new president. Mary Chinda reporting for PLOS TV Africa.